Hey, it's Carlos. Do you know if the guy you're with really wants a relationship? I mean, how can you read him and figure out if he's the right one for you? After all, you don't want to push him away and risk scaring him off, right? Well, today we're going to talk about five things he does if he wants a relationship. Hey, it's Carlos Cavallo from DatingFire.com and DatingAdviceGuru.com. Welcome back to the dating and relationship secrets you need to know. Look, the reality is right off the bat, men simply don't show you their emotions easily, right? We've kind of established this, you probably know it. And why is this? Well, number one, because he doesn't feel those emotions as vividly as you do. Number two, because he doesn't feel them as often as you do. Number three, he doesn't understand his emotions as well as you do. And number four, he may love you, but he's probably nervous about letting you know. Right up front, let me tell you that the one sign you should be looking for is him showering you with possessions. No, that's a lie. Sorry. I wanted to trick you on that one, but you know, buying gifts, right? That's one of the things that we tend to interpret, meaning, well, he must want a relationship. He's giving me all this stuff. Look, if a man shows you his love through buying gifts for you, you should immediately be a little hesitant and wary. I mean, let's get real here. Movie and television and love songs have probably totally distorted what you think a man will do when he wants a relationship. You know, things like carry you piggyback while you both giggle in fields of flowers or on the beach. He'll ride up to you on a horse with his shirt unbuttoned to take you for a ride on that beach, right? He's going to hold you close to him in the rain, love you even though your mascara is running down your face. I could go on and on about that one too, right? The point is you have to let go of the Hollywood and pop culture lies about what men do when they're in love with you. So let's dig right in and let's talk about the first sign. Sign number one, he shows you through his actions, not words. Okay. Way back in 2009, Dr. Gary Chapman explained to the world this concept of love languages. Now, this is really important because most people still show love the way they want to get love. In other words, we show our love to the other person the way we want them to give it back to us. And if you do this, you run the risk of losing the man you want because you're not really hearing him or even showing him love. He's not going to interpret it that way. You have to be very observant to see that he might not be showing you love the way you would prefer receiving it. Now, this isn't his fault. It's simply because he doesn't know any better and you might miss those signals. For example, he may be the kind of guy that performs acts of service. In fact, most guys are. I'm one of those guys. We mostly like to show women that we want a relationship or that we love them this way. We don't typically use declarations of love using words. Gifts, he might do that, okay? He might help you out in some way is more likely what he's going to try and do. He's going to try and be generous with his effort, with his energy. So be open to the fact that no matter what way you like to receive love, his way might be different and you need to know what his particular love language is. If a guy is putting energy into trying to make you happy, regardless of what method, this is most likely a sign of him wanting a relationship with you. Sign number two is he's going to talk and plan the future with you. This one's pretty cut and dry and you may have heard it before, but it's important. It's one of the ones that most women intuitively also know is important. You might be afraid to start talking about the future with him and rightfully so. You don't want to scare him off with talk about the future too soon. This is one of the big mistakes many women make. The rule of thumb is that the less you plan or talk about the future, the more he should. If he's interested in you for the future, and he will be if you're holding back enough to challenge him, then he's going to want to lock you down. He's going to want to get you to make time commitments. You have to put him in the position of wanting these things from you, not you giving them to him so that he doesn't have a chance to want them. That should, I hope that makes sense to you. These little time commitments tell him that he possesses you in some small way. Okay, This is what a guy's looking for. He wants to get time commitments from you that tell him, I got her. Some women might bristle at the thought of a man thinking that he owns her in some way, but in truth, think about any man you've ever been in a relationship with. You definitely felt like you owned him in some way, didn't you? Hey, are you having problems in your relationship right now? Are you wondering if he really wants to be in this relationship? A lot of women come to me wondering what is the roadblock that stops them from true love? Well, I finally made a quiz that can help you get past that roadblock. Go to datingfire.com forward slash help me Carlos. That's datingfire.com forward slash help me Carlos. Go take the quiz right now. Sign number three is he will tell you about his feelings for you. Now, I'm not going to guarantee that he's going to use words. A lot of guys simply don't have the vocabulary for it. Luckily, there are enough Hollywood movies out there to help him along with this process. But the truth is that you may never hear him say it 
quite the way you want to hear it. I know that might be disappointing, but there, believe me, there's a consolation prize here. The other truth is that you may not really need to hear him say it as much as you might think you do. Hearing a man say the words, I love you, really isn't always the truth, let's be honest, right? Words are easy to say. Let's be real, it's always easy to lie if we had to. Men have used the little white lie of, I love you, to get into bed with more women than, well, stars you can see at night. We've all said things that we may not mean in the heat of the moment. So back to the sign, you should see him open up to you in some way. He has to feel comfortable enough with you to share his deepest and most personal thoughts and feelings with you. This is called vulnerability, and it usually indicates that he wants to take your relationship to the next level and create something more. So you should look for him to reveal things to you like, his feelings, for you or for other people even, his experiences with his coworkers and family, especially if they're frustrating. He should talk about his history with you. He should tell you about his past experiences and people that he's known. In a previous video, I actually talked about one of the signs that a man is emotionally unavailable is that he actively avoids talking about his feelings in any way. And that's still true here. It's something you have to test and check in on yourself. You've got to bring up emotional topics with him early on to see if he's capable of going there. All right, sign number four, he has a kind and compassionate disposition. Look, one of the ways that we avoid intimacy in relationships is that we create a joking and playful kind of contentiousness, a little back and forth banter. I'm sure you, you've probably seen couples like this, haven't you? Very often they're stuck in this rut of insulting each other in small ways to kind of show love for each other. That's how they stay at a certain comfortable distance. Sarcasm is another one of the negative ways that we keep people distant from us. Before things get out of control, they de-escalate and of course they stop. They give a, you know, they say, oh, I love you, or they give a kiss, but it's not before you're left with a very negative feeling about how they were interacting with each other. It's one of those bickering relationships. And frequently people explain it away or excuse it by saying, whatever works, or hey, it works for them. But the truth is that it doesn't really work. This kind of contentiousness and bickering takes its toll. It's negative and it never gets them to be very close. So when I say that he has to be kind and compassionate in his disposition, what I mean is he has to tend to lean into being good to you rather than keeping you at arm's length. He's gonna show all the signs of wanting you near him and emotionally engage with him instead of constantly pushing you away with small insults or smart, snarky comments. Be on the lookout for this kind of behavior and that pattern in your relationships. Are you the kind of woman that creates this kind of relationship? Hey, you might not want to admit it, but you might find yourself jumping into this kind of bantering dynamic in a lot of your relationships. It's always easier to needle and insult each other than it is to uplift and compliment each other. Check out your own patterns of avoiding vulnerability and watch out for him to have this kind of kindness and compassion for you. It's a positive, uplifting kind of love, and it's definitely what you want to look for in your own relationships. Hey, if you like these tips, go on, hit subscribe, turn on notifications, get the videos, get them every week, and you're gonna know when they come out. So don't miss out, hit the subscribe button. All right, sign number five, he is consistent and regular with attention, affection, and communication. This one is really, really huge because most women are quick to excuse a guy who doesn't do these things. You ever been in a relationship with a guy that does this? He frequently disappears for days at a time, no communications. He runs hot and cold when it comes to physical affection. He stops texting you in the middle of a conversation. He breaks a date or he fails to show up. Look, in the end, you're gonna have a kind of I call it a background radiation, a feel for your relationship. What I mean by this is that you will eventually have a generally warm feeling about your direction, or you're gonna be pretty unsure about where things are going. No two ways about it. If you have a good feeling about your relationship, I can pretty much guess that you're, well, you're not watching this video. <laughs> Something in you right now is probably giving you doubts, isn't it? A feeling of doubt about where you stand with them. Take a look at your relationship. Are you getting what you need? Do you feel stable and grounded? Do you have occasional doubts, but they don't last long? Well, chances are you probably don't feel this way, but again, women don't typically watch my advice videos unless they sense there's something wrong. In order to feel good about your relationship, you need some consistency. In order to feel stable and get rid of your doubts, you need him to be consistent and regular with his attention. And you have to not let yourself be confused. If he's not giving you what you need, ask for it. 
But even better than asking for it is to choose a guy who gives you what you need without having you have to ask for it, right? Getting a man to give you consistent attention and affection is not difficult. However, you may have to do things a little bit differently than you've been doing them now, especially if you're finding it difficult to get the attention and desire you really want from him. Yeah, I mean, at one point, it used to be that women, for the most part, understood men's behavior. Most women knew what men wanted and needed. They knew how to figure out what it was that was getting in the way of the commitment. Sometimes they were taught this stuff by their mothers, and they just knew how to use this kind of information to get a man to fall in love with her. Not through tricking him or deceiving him, but through simple psychological principles that were a win-win for both him and her. That's what learning about men and how men think will do for you. That's what it's going to do. You're not taking advantage of guys. You're helping him get off his butt to do what he needs to do. Love and desire you. There's no other way for your relationship. Don't accept anything less. Don't trust that a man is going to figure out how to fall in love with you. Make it happen. And yet time and again, I see women who honestly believe that man is going to figure this thing out on his own. He's going to figure out how to fall in love with you. He's going to accidentally fall in love with you. He's accidentally going to make you happy. Accidentally going to make a commitment to you. He's going to accidentally propose to you. Let me assure you that love is almost never an accident. It's where preparedness, meets opportunity and chemistry. Look, if you want to know the secrets of this stuff, I can show you. It's time for you to learn this, don't you think? Don't race off to the next video and just get another dopamine hit here on YouTube. The women who get what they want know when to stop seeking and start winning with men. Here's your first step. Go get my free book at datingfire.com. Go to datingfire.com forward slash free book datingfire.com forward slash free book. Get that book right away. I'll show you some of the mistakes you might have been making and how to get this thing back on track right now. And you know the drill, right? If you're new here or even if you're not, quick, do the big three. Like and subscribe. Get this stuff every week and it supports the channel. Number two is to turn on notifications. Click that bell icon so you can get notified when I release more of these videos. Yes, and one's coming next week. And if you're already subscribed, Go and send this link, send the channel to somebody that you know, spread the word. Let's get, help get other women on the right path. And number three, comment below. Did you agree with these? Is there anything that you want in a video? Do you want a part two to this one? Let me know. Hey, and don't forget, wait a few more seconds. I'll give you a couple more video hits up here in the corner for you to look at, okay? This is Carlos Caballo. As always, live and love with passion.